It's time for basketball. It's the Faith Baptist Knights and the Pleasantville Baptist Eagles. Pleasantville got here by beating out Marion Avenue by 24. Faith took a little bit of a different route, beat Fairhaven by just three in a real instant classic. It was a barn burner. It was a very, very well played game. The starting five for the Knights, Ethan uh, Thomason, if I'm saying that correctly here, Elijah Thompson, sorry. Joey Tarks, Ben Ballesteris getting the start, Cayman Gray, and Josiah Johnson for the Eagles. Jack Rouge, Justin Landolt, Seth Potter, Braden Elliott, and rounding up the starting five is Blake. To tip it off, Seth Potter versus Cayman Gray. Eagles, Knights, championship. Tip, control, eagle. Seth Potter, he's searching for somewhere. He puts the ball on the floor, takes the cup, layup shot. Up, out, rebound to Cayman Gray, and here comes Faith. Right corner, Tarks. Johnson for three. He takes a lot of those. Can't find the range on that one. Instead, goes up for a little floater and scores a quick three. Shot from Josiah Johnson, and it's 2 nothing in favor of the Faith Knights. Braden, Elliott, mid range, no rebound, tip. Seth Potter's got it. Layup, backboard, rim, out, stolen by Randall. Five Potter, stolen by Dallas Harris, but he stepped on the end line. It's staying with the Eagles. Nice defense there by Justin Landel. Two to nothing in favor of Faith early action. Seth Potter looking to inbound the ball. Seth coming off a wonderful semifinal performance there against Marion Abbott. Blake Rouge hands off to Landel. He passes in. Shot fake up. Out. Rebound. Faith. Ben Ballesteris finds Josiah Johnson. Bring it up over the time. Pass inside to Gray. Gray right corner. Wide open for three. Ballesteris, side iron, no good. Rebound, rejected out of there. Nice defense there by Seth Palmer. Johnson puts it on the deck. Kicks to Tart. And passes out to Josiah Johnson. Johnson probing, finds Gray. Gray working on his man, Potter. Flips one up and he's grabbing with the basketball. Just kind of flipped one up. It wasn't really close. It's a turnover. Pleasantville possession. Braden Elliott brings it up over the timeline. Right corner. For three. Air ball. Rebound fake. That's Jack Rouge with that three point attempt. No good. Alistair brings it up over the timeline. Settles into their offensive rhythm. Right corner. Johnson, three, short off the iron, rebound. Nice take by Elijah Thomas, and he got fouled, and two free throws are coming. Free throw is good from Elijah Thompson. Second one up, back iron, rebound. Pleasantville, trailing it three to nothing. Haven't scored yet, 3.52 left to play in our first quarter of action. 
for six minute quarters in this championship game. Gets it into Rouge, kicks it back out, finds Elliott. Elliott to the top, dribbling right, gets his man in the air. Nice pass through a seam, tip, going to fade. Refs had to talk about it. And they give it back to Faith, leading it three to nothing. Johnson to Thompson, right corner Tarps. Oh, he up faked him. Puts up off the glass. No, rebound Thompson. Gets his man in the air. Forks one up. No good. Two free throws coming for it. I did Thompson. Two more free throws coming for Thompson. He's one for two on the night. First of the couple is up and through. Made the first one last time as well. Second one last time, couldn't hit it. This time. And the second one is up. The second one is around and in. Five, nothing safe. Pleasantville trying to answer. Get on the board for the first time. Put 315 and take. Nearing the first half of our first quarter. Thompson tries to run it down. And tip. And out of bounds. Going to Pleasantville. But before that, Coke. AJ Potter calls time. AJ Potter, along with Jim Hunt, are coaching for Pleasantville. The coach for Faith is Pastor Mike Bragg. Early action, five to nothing, favor of Faith. Pleasantville hasn't been able to establish an offensive rhythm. They're really struggling with possession. And now it's a chance for Pleasantville to answer here with the possession, pointing their way out of this timeout. 3.06 left to go in our first quarter. Five to nothing, Faith. Tim Skip game, last event for the event. Elliot puts it on the floor. Justin to Seth Potter. Back to Justin. Landel. Landel puts it on the floor, gets it to Rouge, whose scissors went up. It's no good. Long pass up ahead, red by Seth Potter. Nice defensive play. Scissors went up. Back out. No good. Rebound. Faith. Five. Nothing. Pleasantville can't buy one right now. Faith trying to extend the lead. That's Ballesteros with the ball. No help coming up with the corner of the screen. There's Elijah Thompson with the screen. Right corner Tarks. Not going to shoot it. He'll dribble it back to the sideline. Swing it. Right corner. Johnson puts it on the floor. Puts it. Scores it. In one. Nice shot from Elijah uh, Josiah Johnson. And it's seven to nothing in favor of Faith. Pleasantville still has not scored, and Thompson's going to free throw line. Johnson's going to the free throw line for a chance for the three point play. Johnson with the hoop in the harm. His free throw is up, and his free throw is short on the rim, bouncing good. And it's eight. Nothing. Faith. Offensive foul. Stepping in and taking the harm is Cave and Gray. Nice, de nice uh, defense there. Foul whistle against number 12 for Pleasantville. That's Jack Rouge, the senior. That's his second foul already. Fourth against Pleasantville. Eight nothing. Faith. Pass inside to Gray. Right corner. Oh, nice passing. Johnson mid range. J. Short rebound. Oh, no. Two more free throws coming. A lot of whistles early against Pleasantville. Their fifth, and Thompson's going to the free throw line yet again. First one's up, and the first one's short. No good. Potter. 
Potter down the lane. Pass inside. Oh, it's out of bounds. Just put on the end line and another turnover for Pleasantville. They're racking them up early. It's 8 nothing faith. Pleasantville can't buy one from the field. That can change in a heartbeat, though. Seth Potter can really shoot. Pass to Gray. Save. Nice play. Foul stairs finds Tarks, who finds Johnson. Back to Tarks. Oh, and in. Layup. Good, beautiful passing. Faith is a well-oiled machine when it comes to passing on the offensive end. And Elliott for three. They need it. They don't get it. Rebound Potter. Foul. Two free throws. Three subs ready to come in for Faith at the next, after this free throw. Chance to get on the board here for Pleasantville. Blake Rouge, free throw up. And they're on the board. It's 10 to 1. Taking the place of Ballesteros, Gray, and Tarks is Nymeyer, Adams, and Hori, Akira Hori. Last game against the Conquerors of Fairhaven. He was just deadly for three. Pleasantville has got to keep an eye on him. Johnson struggling. Struggling to shoot from three. Nice defense. And he's in a run out. He's going to go up with it. Way up his hill. It's 10 to 4. There was in six. A little bit of momentum here, maybe for Pleasantville. Johnson down the lane. Scoop. Layup. No rebound. Seth Potter. Layup. But again. 10 to 6. That a play by Seth Potter. The steal and the score. And there was in four. They look more lively on defense. Nice defense. Way to get your head put in there. Akira Horn. Christian Adams. Nymeyer forces one up. It's no good at the end of the half. Within the last minute and a half of that quarter, the Pleasantville Eagles went on a 6 nothing run to cut the lead from 10 to nothing to 10 to 6. And it is time for the quarter break. We'll be right back in about a minute for our second quarter. This is Luke Armacost reporting. Here at the final. 
in the conference challenge. <laughs> the Pleasantville Eagles. And here we are in the basketball championship with the ball belonging to Faith, leading it by four. Scoop layup, no, rebound, Thomason. He'll settle to Alex Horry, Akira Horry. Oh, nice pass. Beautiful layup. No, it's going to pay it off. Here comes Pleasantville. they got to take advantage of this gift Faith gave them. You know, force one up. No. On the ground. The inbounds play comes from Seth Potter. Long pass. Tip, stolen by Christian Adams down the lane. Forces it up. Pass. No. Rebound. Neymar up. Score. Neymar is a scorer. He's very good on the offensive end. It's 12 to 6. He's arguably better on the defensive end. Nice pass. Elliott. Fake. Goes down the lane. Picks it out. Ruse. Lost it out of bounds. Going to fate. Bad turnover there. Here comes Justin Johnson. Pass tip. Tip. It's going back to Pleasant Hill. Timeout taken after a hard fall by one of the faith players. Coach Mike Bragg is going to try to rally the troops here. They're leading it by eight with four minutes left in our second quarter. Foul trouble here for Pleasantville. They're up to five on the half. Just two for Faith. Low scoring affair so far. Seth Potter running back. We're going to play here. It's back to Justin Land. Puts on the court, kicks the right corner to Braden Elliott. Tip, back tap. Tip by White and it's staying with Pleasantville. 
culminating event of the Conqueror's Challenge 2024 is the Eagles and the Knights in the basketball championship game. Pass inside, right corner, Elliott, he'll uncork one. Short off the iron, no good. Out of bounds, going back to the eight. Nice defense there by Elijah Thompson, just getting in the way. Comes Akira Hori over the timeline. Right corner, Nyemeyer, spot up three ball, bang. Lead up to 11. Corner Elliott in the Rouge, back out to Elliott. Two minutes and 40 seconds and ticking on our second quarter clock. Pass inside, Thompson. Finds Adams. No, he doesn't. Potter steals it again off his hand. Oh, it's going to fade. No, it's fading the pleasant though. Nice, nice play by Seth Potter. He is just everywhere on defense. Seth Potter finds the top key. Braden Elliott, right corner, through his hands. Turn over. Not good. Not good there. And here comes Cayman Gray. He's going to take the place of Elijah Thomas. And Joey Tarks will come out and take the place of Josiah Johnson. And then Christian Adams is going to sit in the place of Ben Ballesteris. Thank you for those who have tuned in. It's been a good one so far. Faith in the Eagles. Another three, short off the iron. Rebound. Justin Landol for Pleasantville, and he's stolen from behind by Joe Charles. That's great defense by Joe. Just following the play. I've seen him do that a number of times in my years playing against him and now watching him play. Stolen by Landol. Nearly had his pocket picked again. It's out of bounds on the line. Touched by Faith. Stand with Pleasant Bill. <laughs> Elliot, he'll pop a three. And switch a three. Nice shot from Braden Elliott. Nothing. But the bottom of the net. Hey, on me down. Marvelous looking shot. High Archer. Nice shot from Elliott. And there was in six now. A little mini five nothing run here for the Eagles. They'll find Ballesteris right corner. Nice pass into Brad Nymeyer. Right corner for him. Fakes right. Goes left. Mid range. No. Gets his own miss. Out of bounds. Go into Pleasantville. An opportunity here for Pleasantville to close that gap. Let's see if they take advantage. Justin Landolt's going to bring it over the timeline. Under a minute left to go in our second quarter. Through his hands again. Tries to throw it off Faith. He does. Nice play. Staying with Pleasantville. A tone over here would, would be just be just depressing. 17 to 11. Elliott behind the back with the dribble. Oh, throws it right into the hands of Nymeyer. Oh, out of steam. Goes up. No, rebound Lando. Seth Potter puts his head down. Goes up. Scoop layup. Good play by Seth Potter. Wow. I mean, he is just so talented. Unbelievable. Got by three defenders on that play. Scooped it up and in.
Clark back into that Peter Horn. Nymeyer. Short. Got his miss. Downstairs. Puts on the floor. Floater shot. No. Rebound Joey. First one. Short off the iron. No good. As the first half clock expires. Very close to being a seven point lead as opposed to four. Our halftime score. Faith. 17. Pleasantville. 13. We'll be back for the second half. This is Luke Armacost. Thanks for joining us here tonight. We're going to have some more giveaways from Mr. Schrock. Our drawing. And that will be followed by our second half of what's been an entertaining game so far. Faith 17, Pleasantville 13. We shall be right back.
This is the start of the second half, and it's Pozefkin with Pleasantville. Trailing it by four. Five minutes, 55 seconds on a turning. Third quarter clock, a right corner three is up. Back iron, no rebound, Joey Tart for Fate. He'll scoop one up, no rebound, Pleasantville. Throws off Joey Tart, out of bounds, staying, and going back to the Eagles. Chance here to close this lead. It was once up to 10, now it's down to four. Seth Potter over the time. Hill on cork along three. Short off the side iron, rebound. Ruth. Elliott, Hill on cork one. Short off the iron, no good, rebound for Ray. Two good looks at a three there for Pleasantville. Neither of them fall. Starts to lay up good. Johnson, mid-range, back iron, rebound, Thompson, up and in, Elijah Thomas in, beautiful shot. Seth Potter, top of the team. Six-point game in favor of Faith right now. It's looking like it's going to be a close one down the stretch. Potter spins, layup. From Jack Rouge, and it's a back to a four point game. Josiah Johnson. Oh, it's rejected out of there by Seth Potter. He denied the opportunity for Johnson, but it is staying with Faith. Four minutes and 10 ticks left on our clock here. Gets into Gray, back out to Thompson, who gets to Johnson, who scoots, shoots, and misses the rebound. Seth Potter, one on one. Through a crowd, forces one up. Seth in Faith overload. It's a two point game. A free throw is coming. Seth Potter with the hoop and the harm, and one coming. Clean up some moisture on the court. Thank you, Elijah Thomason, for being willing to do that. He's going to get a nice round from the crowd here. The two-point game of three throws coming for Seth Potter, who is in complete takeover mode. He has just put together a wonderful performance here in today's game so far. Trying to add to the stat sheet with another free throw. It's in. Out, back in, one point game. Faith trying to win both volleyball and basketball for the second consecutive year. Pleasantville trying to deny them that opportunity. Right corner, Ballesteris. Oh, he telegraphed it right into the hands of Seth Potter, who's going to slowly bring it up the court with his team trailing by just one and a chance to take the lead. Marks for three. High archer, side iron, no good. Rebound, Dallas Stairs. Thompson, through his hands, turnover. Those turnovers are starting to cost faith. Subs into the game, Alex Horry. Akira Horry, sorry. Christian Adams and Nyemeyer checking in. Braden Elliott crosses over, gets to pop. Oh, 
Elliott puts it on the floor. Sing away. No good. Rebound. Thompson. Nymeyer crosses over into a crowd. Leia. Good. No good. Two free throws coming. Seth Potter commits the personal foul, and Nymeyer's going to the free throw line. Free throw up, short, no good for Brad or for Nymar. Second one is up, second one's good. Justin Landold brings over the timeline. He's had a quiet night, but he is capable of getting going from deep. Seth Potter. Right corner, Elliott ready for a three. It's good again. Brandon Elliott for three. That's a four point lead for Pleasantville. Johnson, mid-range, no good, rebound. Nymeyer, uh -oh. out, rebound, tip. Thomason has it, Nymeyer shoots, Nymeyer's foul. Two free throws coming. And Braden Elliott is filling it up from three. He's got three of those on the night. It's a good looking stroke. One forty-four left in our third quarter. 26-22, Pleasantville has taken the lead after going down 10 to nothing to start our game. Makes the first, he's getting a second, 26-23 at the time. But this time, he's trying to cut it to two. The free throw is up and the free throw is good. Seth Potter has been very, very good this evening and all day today and last night in this tournament. He's been, he's played so well. Elliott swings it long. Rouge inside to Landel. Finds the other Rouge who puts it up and in. A beautiful passing play for two and it's 28-24. Akira Hori over the timeline, right corner. Johnson, scoop shot, no, follow, no, uh, no, Christian Adams to the free throw line. Doesn't both got to be careful though, these reckless fouls could come back to haunt. As it stands now, it is again a four point lead. The foul whistled against number 12, Jack Rouge, is his fourth. First free throw, short. no good. He's going to have to take a seat, replace by Evan Grant. Christian Adams ready for his second free throw. Short side iron, no good rebound. Seth Potter, he's been everywhere. Oh, yeah, step back three, way too long. Grant. It was right behind him, couldn't find it, and here comes Ford. Nymeyer for two. Nice play by Nymeyer. 28 26. 35 seconds and ticking. Caruso has a turnover. Here comes Faith. Jos Josiah Johnson on a run out. Layup. No. Rebound out of bounds off Faith. Oh, it's staying with Faith. Then it's out of bounds. Off, yeah, it's out of bounds off base, so it is going to Pleasantville. Got a stoppage of play as Josiah Johnson went down hard. And he remains seated. seated. This coach is going to help him up. He's going to get a round of applause from the crowd. Looks like he's going straight to the bench. Not a good sign here for Josiah Johnson. 
going to go to the medical table. So Ballesteros is going to check in for Johnson. Over down the lane, layup, travel. Neymar cleaning up some moisture on the court. With 12.7 seconds left in our championship game here between the Knights. 12.7 seconds left in the third quarter of this championship match between the Knights and the Eagles. It's going to be Knights possession trailing it by two. And here they go. Not picking it up yet. Before he picks it up with nine seconds and ticking on our clock. Corey puts on the floor, mid range J, short, rebound, long shot, nowhere close. And at the end of three, it's 28 for Pleasantville, 26 for Faith. Man, this has been some, some very good basketball so far, some good ball movement. Pleasantville put together a very prosperous third quarter uh, as opposed to the first two quarters which were mostly dominated by Faith. Pleasantville has done themselves very well here in this third quarter. They're ahead by two. Their biggest lead was four. Uh, costly turnover, two out of the way, and Pleasantville could be winning this by a lot more. On the Faith side of things, we really got to slow it down again. They're starting to turn the ball over a little too much and got to work the offensive pattern that they normally do, and they should be fine. Could be a fun sprint to the finish. We'll be back for the fourth quarter right after this. This is Luke Armacross. Thanks for watching the Conqueror's Challenge on Fairhaven Media. Fourth quarter's underway. Faith trailing it by two and a costly turnover right out of the gate. Six seconds into the fourth quarter and a turnover. It's going to Pleasantville here. Landau up, rejected. Rebound Horry. He's in a run out. It's a one on one. Going to attack Potter. Layup. No. Rebound Elliott. Oh, beautiful defense by Seth Potter. Walt to Potter. Oh, yeah. Fake right. No fire again. Graded yeah. Elliott is lights out from range, and it's a five point Pleasant Billy go lead. Nymeyer looking for the answer. He'll drive, shoot. Oh, it's so close. Off the rim, but a foul and two free throws. Blocking foul. Fought against number five for Pleasantville. That's Blake Roos. That's his third foul. 
Neymar, short. Hira Horry giving this big man a high five. Ready for the second. It's up. It's good. Four point game. Got to keep an eye on Braden Elliott, who has just been unconscious from three. I mean, he is just hitting everything. He's got four on the net. There he is again. Potter. Scoop layup. Good. What a play by Seth Potter. Man, that guy is just cruising right now. Neymar. No. Rebound. Off the hands of Neymar to an eagle. We got ourselves a held ball. Possession arrow goes. Possession arrow goes to the Eagles. Right corner for three. Short. Rebound. Lando puts it up. No. Rebound. Came it bread. Came it. Johnson. Faith possession, drilling it by six. 4.13 left in our, we got a foul and that's his fifth. Five fouls. Uh-oh, that's not good. Jack Rouge has fouled out of the game with his fifth personal foul. The refs are going to discuss this because it looks like there may be a dispute over the wrong number. They called it against number 12. Red foul again. Red foul against number 20. Braden Elliott. He's going to take the harm here for his buddy number 12 who was sure it wasn't him. They righted it. That was a little confusing there. It is a six point lead here for the state for the Pleasantville Eagles. Another moisture issue here. I'd like to appreciate all those people who have jumped in to help and make sure this court is looking nice and neat for this tournament. Another, during our next time out, we'll give the shout outs for all the people who have made this tournament possible. Thank you to the refs, Nate Star, Bill Rings, et cetera, who have done so well. And we appreciate all their hard work in keeping these games clean and tight. Nine mile inbound. Team trailing by six, four minutes left. Nearly stolen by Elliott. Right corner, Johnson. Puts it on the floor. Right corner, Neymar. Drives it to a crowd. Really just get out of there. Come on. Nice play by Seth Potter, man. He is just everywhere. Neymar searching. Top of the key, Johnson. Ready for a three. Back iron. Rebound. Blando. The foul whistle against number 23 for the Faith Knights. There's his second. And a timeout call by Pleasantville to avoid the turnover. It's a six-point game with 3.40 left to go in our fourth quarter.
this timeout was called by Pleasantville to avoid a turnover. A nice uh, timeout call there. These teams took different paths to get this championship game. Pleasantville blew the doors off Marion Avenue to get here. They had the barn burn their way for a win against the hometown Fairhaven Conquerors. One by three. Pleasantville one by 24. They're evenly matched here, though, down by six on the Faith Knights with 3.40 left to play. Top of Key Elliott. Finds Lando, puts it to the floor. Scoop layup, no rebound. It's a good attempt, though. Dimeyer down the lane, beautiful shot fake up. Yeah. Nice shot by Dimeyer to pull his team within four. A free throw, and he could cut the lead to just three. Now whistled against number four for Pleasant. That's Seth Potter. That's his third personal foul. Nymeyer, four times with the dribble, free throw, in and out. Oh, right to Nymeyer, ready for a three. In and out, no good. Rebound, Horry, layup, good. Mid-range shot, good set. Seth Potter has it. This is what happened. It's a foul. It's a foul call, number 45 from Faith. That is. Elijah Thomas. Free throw up. No good off the side iron. And a free throw here, and this lead is to three, a miss, and the lead stays at two for Pleasantville. With 2.49 left to play, we're getting down to crunch time here. Free throw. Missed another one, and here comes Payman Bray. Nymar quickly over the timeline. Horry gets around two defenders, mid-range shot, it's good. Nakira Horry, he's got ice in his veins when it comes time for the fourth quarter. When Fairhaven played the Faith Knights a couple of weeks ago here, he had 12 in the fourth period. And that six-point lead is quickly gone for Pleasanton. Potter in the Lando, layup, no, foul call. Fouls against number 11 for Faith. That's his first, but it's a shooting foul. Josiah Johnson whistled for that one. And it's Landolt to the free throw line. It's good. Nothing but the bottom for Justin Landolt. He has been just a killer today. Good. Two point game in favor of Pleasantville. Here comes Josiah Johnson. Two minutes and 10 seconds left to go in our championship game. Nymeyer, right corner, Horry. Flicks it in to Elijah Thomason. Turns, finds Horry again. Johnson, we got a foul. Foul on Pleasantville. The block. Good call by the ref. And it's a shooting foul. No, it's bonus here because it's the seventh team foul for Pleasantville. Two free throws. Up, short, bouncing out. The fourth foul there on Seth Potter. He's got to be careful. They need him here down the stretch. Free throw is up. Free throw short. Rebound. Saved by Faith. Right to Pleasantville. Right corner, Elliott. Doesn't shoot his 
three, which he has been just cash money on. A steal by a field line. Down the lane, It's a two-point lead. One minute and 35 seconds left to go in our fourth quarter. Nymeyer down the lane. Nymeyer who settles it. Nymeyer finds Hori. Back to him. Ready for a three. Back iron. Rebound. Back to him. Stop to Hori. Down the lane. Mid-range shot. Short. Ball to Nymeyer. Lift. No. Tip again. Lift. No! Rebound again! Good! Third time is the charm, and the third time got the harm. Free throw coming. Nymeyer's third opportunity on the same possession. Not what you wanted to see there from Pleasantville. He missed it though to set Potter. Spins left. Around it out. Rebound Lando. Jump ball. Possession arrow. Goes to Faith. Faith ball. Blake moves on that last possession committed his fourth personal foul. And a timeout taken by the Faith Knights. All knotted up at 37 in the fourth period with a minute to go. Thanks to the people that helped this whole tournament come together. At the scores desk is Mr. Lyle, guys. He is running the clock. He has for years here for Fairhaven for all our home basketball and volleyball games. We'd like to thank him for all his hard work. In the middle there is Mr. Eric Ramis. He has uh, done a wonderful job bringing this event to us, bringing all the teams in. And that armor cost there on the right, she is the official scorebook for tonight's game. We'd like to thank our refs, Bill Ramis and Nate Starr. And then also, uh, thank you, Caleb Moody, for our help getting us to do this live stream. The last event here for the Concord Challenge 2024, it's going to come down to this. A minute left, 37-37, all tied up. Faith with possession and a chance to take the lead. Pleasantville is working in the bonus right now, so any more fouls they commit will send Faith to the free throw line. Nymeyer with the ball. He's come up clutch here in the last couple of minutes. Seth Potter on man-on-man -man defense. Finds a Kira Hori. Very sure with that basketball. Takes it to the cup. Scoop layup. No. Rebound. Hell ball. Going to Pleasantville. Thirty-seven seconds left to go in our fourth quarter of action. Thirty-seven apiece. 37, 37, 30 seconds of counting. Potter brings up over the timeline. He has been a killer today for the Pleasantville Eagles. Mike playing tough defense. Down the lane. Got a hold before the shot. It's a good space, and it's staying with Pleasantville with 24 seconds left on the shot clock. Just five personal fouls, though, so it's going to be side out, no free throws. Got to be careful to inbound this thing. Pleasantville ready to inbound. 24 seconds left to go, 37 apiece here in the championship game. Faith Women's Volleyball won. And a turnover. And a run out. Six seconds left to play in our fourth quarter, and Faith got a layup from Akira Hori to give him a two-point lead with six seconds remaining. Coach A.J. Potter and Coach Jim Hart for the Pleasantville Eagles bring their guys to the sideline, try to set up the perfect play. Not much time left. 
No doubt what the faith coach is saying, you cannot foul. Worst case scenario is a foul here. And this championship game has come down to the wire. Both teams huddled around their prospective co coaches. The crowd at a door wall right now. A lot of faith fans have made the trip up from Bourbon A to cheer on the Knights. And a handful of fans have come all the way from Iowa to cheer on the Pleasantville Baptist Eagles. And what has been just an instant classic of a final here. It's Pleasantville possession. They have full length of the court to go. A two ties it and sends us to an extra period. A three gives us a Pleasantville championship win. And a miss or a turnover seals the deal and gives faith back to back championships here for basketball. This has been just an awesome game. Not over yet, though. 7.6. They've added a little bit of time on our clock. And a timeout taken by Coach Mike Brad. Wants to talk things over yet again. 7.6. They added a couple of seconds because the coach did call the timeout sooner rather than later. Point game. And that horn sounds, and they're going to come out onto the court. Two point lead for Faith. Pleasantville, a chance to tie or win. And here they come. The Eagles have fought so hard all day. Faith just the same. Let's see what this final seven seconds will bring us either a Pleasantville championship or a Faith championship. Back to Potter. Potter, over half court, he's fouled. He's fouled. That's just the sixth team foul though, so he's not gonna shoot free throws. He's in fact gonna have another side out, a blocking foul, and it's staying right here. Maybe a smart decision to foul so he wouldn't have a breakaway layup. Five seconds now on the clock, 4.6 to be exact. That was number 40 for Fates, just his first. That was Neymar's first free throw. to Potter. They shoot it up, they get up in time. No good. No good, just at the horn. He threw it up and he threw it out. He banked it up, there was no good. Yeah, and Faith is your basketball championship for the Conqueror's Challenge 2024. What a day, that was an awesome day. Very happy for the Faith Knights, they got the win. But, got to respect the Pleasantville Eagles. They out today, very good game. Uh, they were that close to a championship there. So a wonderful job done by Pleasantville. Safe with the championship. And thanks for watching. This has been Fairhaven Media's coverage of the 2024 Conqueror Challenge. Again, your championships, both in volleyball and in basketball, go to Faith Baptist for the second consecutive year. For Caleb Booty, I am Luke Armacost signing off. Thanks for watching. This has been Media's coverage of the Conqueror's Challenge 2024. We will see you next year.